Hey guys, it is Michael Miller, and today I'm going to be doing my video on how I improve my score by 18 points for the ATI predictor. So I'm pretty much going based off of, um, I took the comprehensive part A exam uh, for ATI back in, it was like a few months ago, two months ago, it was before this semester started, and y'all, I got a 54.7 on that exam and so I think that that leaves me with like a 31% chance of passing the NCLEX so I was like no I need to do something I need to get my life together and everything that I incorporated to help me pass my first attempt I'm going to talk about today and I was able to bring my score from a 54.7 to a 72.2 which leaves me at a 95% chance of passing the NCLEX so if you're interested, keep watching. Y'all, I wanna first off start by saying that ATI has been my struggle throughout all of nursing school. When I tell you, I've always scored like a level one on every exam. And even when I first got into the program, I scored below a level one. And so maybe there was like one or like two or three uh, exams that I scored a level two and I didn't have to retake it. But y'all, it's been my struggle. So I just want to let you know my background and my history with ATI so you don't think I'm just like naturally good at ATI, but y'all, hear me out. What I did first, the first thing that really, really helped me was uh, doing practice questions every single day leading up into the exam. I think I started like maybe four days before my predictor test. And what I did was instead of just retaking all my practice exams or assessments on ATI, I would go to this section, um, like you can see on the site, there's a there's parts, there's tabs, there's one that's called like testing and learning. I think it was under testing. And so there's this um, box that says learning 3.0, something like that. And so I clicked on that and it led me to this like page that had quiz by category um, and then it had like all the practice assessments on there. And so what I did was, I went to quiz by category, and the cool thing is that when you click on that uh, link, it leads you to this page that has a checklist, and it has every single category that's covered on ATI. And what I did was, I just tested myself on every category. Instead of just clicking one or two of the boxes, I just made sure that all the boxes were checked, and I just got my practice in that way. So when I was doing my practice questions, I was doing First off, I was doing thousands of questions because it shows you on there how many questions are on the actual site and how many questions they have for each category. And so I just kept redoing the questions over and over again. For the ones that I missed, I would write down the information on a piece of paper so that I could understand it better. And then even for the ones that I got right that I still didn't kind of understand, I just wrote down the information for that too. Because I'm the type of person where when I write something down and I'm seeing it and I'm writing it, for some reason that connection is what helps me retain information. Everybody is different, but that is what really helps. Um, as far as readings and um, just going through the ATI books, I did not do because I learned that it doesn't help me. I'm the type of person that learns from practice and just doing stuff over and over again. So if you are a person that learns a lot from reading, I would recommend that for you. But for me, I just had to keep doing practice questions over and over and over again. The cool thing is that when I was on the go and I didn't have my laptop, I used this site called RN Mentor. And the cool thing about RN Mentor is that those practice questions are pretty much recycled from the ATI site. I've seen a lot of the same questions and it really, really helped me. Another thing that helped me tremendously was writing down all of the lab values. And when I say all of them, I literally mean all of them. Potassium, like your electrolyte levels, um, also your uh, hematocrit levels. And I also wrote down the antidotes for certain drugs, and then also the therapeutic ranges and toxicities for each drug. Because ATI is good for that. They love asking questions that have to do with certain um, toxicity levels, antidotes, electrolyte levels. So definitely review that at least like a few days before your exam. The last thing that I did that was super helpful 
was um, so when I would go through my ATI questions and I didn't understand what a certain word meant or a certain therapy meant, I would go on Google and just search it just to see what it looked like because I'm a visual person and understand the reason why it was used. And so I did that. I also went on YouTube and reviewed certain conditions that I um, kind of needed to skim over and review again. And then another thing that I did was um, I wrote down the suffixes for each drug category so that whenever I had a question pertaining to um, like pharmacology or something, I knew what the drug did, the adverse effects of that drug, and just the manifestation of it. Pharmacology wise was going on YouTube and listening to, what was it, Picmonic or NRSG, the NRSG channel, nursing. And they reviewed like a lot of the common drugs that are presented on the NCLEX, a lot, a lot of the side effects and clinical manifestations, adverse effects, all that stuff. And the cool thing is that they provide pictures for each condition, for each drug. And so that helped me out tremendously because like I said, I'm a visual person and they were able to condense everything down into like a good, um, pretty much a good like summary for each drug. And so I would definitely recommend doing that. I would say to do that way in advance because I started doing that maybe the day before my exam and I wasn't able to watch as many videos as I could have. And I feel like I would have scored a lot higher if I would have reviewed those videos um, a little bit more in advance. So yeah, I hope that this video helps you out, especially for those who don't really like to read definitely practice those um, ATI questions repetitively. Do those every single day and I feel like you will be just fine. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section or you can personally ask me on my Instagram. My Instagram is M-I-C-H-A-L-E-M-E-R-C-E-D-E-S, Michael Mercedes. So yeah, um, I hope this video is helpful and I will be posting some more content soon. I will see you guys next time and I hope you guys have an amazing day.